Hello everyone and welcome back to Starbound. My name's Duck Corsa and today we're continuing work on the flying steampunk western ghost town. <laughs> I think that was just a little bit over dramatic. But anyway, so we're gonna work on getting the shape of the hull down. So we're gonna do sort of the similar thing that we did to the other ship. Let me actually go over there and pay that ship a visit so we can remember what I was doing there. It's so far away. Do 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 do. Almost there. Just down a little bit and right here. Here we go. So this is the sort of thing that I want. I want to kind of come down, then stop and curve downward and then go back around. And then that's going to be the front end of the ship. I guess you'd call the front of the ship the bow of the ship, would you not? <laughs> so yeah, you would call it the bow of the ship. And then we're going to just go down to the keel of the ship and then sharply back up for the rear end of the ship. So anyways... Since we already have an idea of what I'm going to be doing, let me get back over there and we can get started. It'll just take me a second to get back over there. Anytime now. Anytime now. This is a huge ship, by the way. There we go. There's the bank vault and there's the bottom of the ship. So I figured that the angle that we're going to come down at is going to be... Four, maybe five. To make sure it comes down gently enough. Because coming down two would be really sharp. Coming down four is going to be a bit more gentle. Oh, now I thought I had enough room to work with. But here's the acid here. Here's the bottom of the vault. I think I need to come into around where I'm at right now. I think this right here is going to be the best option. So just right above the water, like I'm about to crash into it. So yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing. So I guess that's time for the time lapse. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. How are you guys doing today? I hope you are doing swell. So today what I worked on was as much in the interior of the um, airship as I could. Which is a lot more difficult than you would think, especially since I'd already planned it all out. I must have, like, so I didn't have anything on the interior of the ship planned out at all. I just thought, you know, I'm just going to put some thrusters and that's going to be it, but... There's so much empty space inside of the airship that, you know, I, I just can't do nothing with it. So what I had been doing, well, which you'll see here in a little bit once I get the outline of it, is I decided I wanted to put storage underneath the buildings. You know, sort of like, um, rentable, uh, storage units. And, you know, and I figured that, you know, a city like this, there would be some space under the deck that could be used for storage and you know why not make it rentable storage but anyways that was actually all my thoughts about that and that's all I do it was a lot of work because I spent a lot of time um, filling in the uh, like all the dead spaces you know trying to find different spots where I could um, reach through the top of the hull and pop down into the um, Oh god, what? How, how do you. Like, just right under the deck of the ship. Not the hull. It's the deck. Wow, I really do not know my terms, apparently. But, anyway, so. Oh, I guess I do plan out a little bit of the, um. The cockpit. The bridge. The cockpit. Whatever you'd like to call it. Um, the reason why I put it on the bottom was because it was sitting at the top. That's really all that, the reasoning I had for that one. Um, I figured that it, it was on the um, bottom of the ship, in the bow, that um, 
whoever's driving the ship will be able to see where they're going. And right there would give you an idea, uh, or the best idea of what sort of clearance that you would need for the ship, since it is basically at the bottom of the ship. Oh, and right here, now I'm starting to work on the um, storage. So the first bit of the storage that I um, worked on was exclusively for the saloon, but then that's when I came up with the, um, not pods, but the, um, oh, storage unit idea, where there would be just scattered storage units throughout the city. And you know, and I feel like that's a decent idea. I don't know. It's something I'll continue to think about. I might end up replacing it in the next episode with something else. It was just, it seemed like a good idea at the time. I'm definitely leaving the one under the saloon, though. That one's not going to go anywhere. But the others I am still kind of iffy about. Mainly because I'm not sure if they fit very well with the, um, the overall theme of a city. Well, I mean, it is a flying city, so, you know. Can't do too much about that. <laughs> so... The other alternative, which I'm probably actually still going to do regardless of if I remove the storage units or not, but the other thing that I could do is put the um, air bladders for, for the air bladder control systems for the airship in the space where I have the storage units. That was the other idea, but those can sit a little further down and they'll still be fine. Um, I still also need... What I didn't do in this episode, that is. What I need to do is put down, um... What are they called? Why am I blanking on this now? I shouldn't be blanking on it. The thrusters. The downward thrusters and the rear thrusters. Yeah, those are the things that I didn't get to in this episode. I was still thinking about how to implement them. I could always go with the system that I used in the prototype. Which is a big chunk of iron blocks with the avian flame traps on them which you know that does work that does work hmm I mean it, it's not a bad idea and I think it would work but again that's something that I'm gonna have to continue thinking on like for example I didn't put any um, waste facilities in the ship. You know, that's definitely something that I need to think about very, very hard about. And one of the last things I plan on doing is once I've got everything, you know, in the pristine condition that it needs to be in. I will go back through and add in, or not add in, but start changing up stuff for the, uh, to turn it into a abandoned ghost town. Yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, right, I did work on a little bit of the interior structure of the ship. Not too much, though. Just enough to give basic outline of it. Alright, well that's all the time I have for today. I wish I could have got a little bit more done work on the ship, but I got the general outline of it finished. Um, I also added in these little storage rooms. And yeah, that's pretty much all I managed to get done. Um, so what next is to add in the internal components of the ship. Um, now that I think about it, I might have to make these rooms a little bit smaller, but that's, that's fine. I can adjust on something like that. But I need stuff like the um, downward thrusters that I wanted. Um, Oh, man. <laughs> Anyways, um, the downward thrusters, the back 
or the rear thrusters and some air bladders along the side of the ship. But anyways, that's going to do it for me. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I am running a daily Starbound Let's Build series. If you have any suggestions, questions, comments, concerns, whatever it is, leave it in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and have yourselves a very good day.